coming from the east, many, many snows, designed for snow when it's cold, way back when the white man came, maybe one over here, my people said they were the mountain men. Maybe two men, three, four, five, six, long time ago. The white man, just a few here, a few there, us, the Indian people, many, 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 way back when, way back in the old times. Our old people, they tell and talk of long stories of when they seen the white man, or the one that wears the cap for the very first time. Who is this? He's not our color. He's not like the Indians. They were afraid of him. They looked at him. His eyes, they say, were the white eyes that come, and we didn't understand them. Only one here, one there, one there. But they come to come into our camps to sit down and talk to us. Our language, when they spoke, we didn't understand. When they spoke, didn't understand. When we spoke, they didn't understand. Same way with our Indian people. Many, many, many tribes here, there, everywhere spoke a different language. Well, we didn't understand. Only way we could talk is with our hands. So when we came, we was able to talk to them, give to them. They understood where it comes from your heart and turn it over. They understood that we could come and talk, make trade with our Indian people, make trade with the white man or the wearer of the cap. When they came this way, them white men, they brought blankets or robes. We traded with them. Maybe we gave them maybe one horse for many blankets maybe many pots that they could cook with, the women, made them happy that they made a trade that was good. They gave, we received. It was a good trade amongst the people, Indian people and the white people. They come together and they traded and traded many, many snows. We, the people, the Indian people, a long time ago, way back, when we had our camps, we could move over here, we could move over here, we could go over here, we could follow the buffalo, the deer, the elk, the mountain sheep, 
We could go and camp wherever we wanted, wherever our heart was good. Go over there and set up our camp. Whole camps, way around, all the way. When that white man chief, that overseas, all of them white men, way, way back east, in that house that is white, that the white man call the president or the one that looks over. Came together, the white men and the Indian chiefs, the white man chiefs. They sat down, they talked, and they talked for a long, long time. The Indian people asked him, when you come, you want to take, you want to tell us, the Indian people, your camp is over here, no more. You have to move down there. We will give you, give you, the Indian people, land over there where you can put your camps many many times the grass wasn't there for our horses the buffalo they were gone the white men come in there with them rifles they killed many many thousands and thousands and thousands of our buffalo that were gone. We, the Indian people, was given this piece of paper with all of our names on it, down through. Our chiefs, our sub-chiefs, had to make their mark said that they would stay here. Our chief asked the white man chief if he could come over the mountain, on this side of the mountain, where the wind is nice and warm, it's good, the valley of the warm winds. The Wind River. Indian reservation was given to us. Well, we had to move over here, stay with our camps. When they made that trade, from our freedom where we could go anywhere we wanted to, we had to stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. After they signed, made their mark, they signed, they made their mark by their name. Every one of the chiefs, the sub-chiefs, signed that, you stay here forever and forever and forever. We are here, many, of our friends, of them other tribes over there in the east, to the southeast, to the south, southwest, west, northwest, north. All the damn Indian people, they had to move their camp over here to where the white man chief says, you must go there. That's your permanent reservation. We give that to you. Mother Earth was given to us by the Creator at the beginning of time. We, the Indian people, didn't understand to own, to 
on the dirt or Mother Earth. We were friends to our Mother Earth. She gave everything we needed. She gave us the meat of our four-legged brothers, the fishes, the winged ones, those that crawl. We are all one. We are all related. We're brothers and sisters. Now, as we walk forward, we must walk like a white man, not an Indian. We must walk the white man way. We talk in sign of color. We make a motion, circular color, on the back of our hand. Say if we want to say the color white, we will show something of white color. We want to show the color of black. We'll make the circular motion for black. Also, the color of red. Show something or point to that color. Maybe the color of green is the color we want to talk about. Again, the color of blue are of the many colors when we talk of sign. We make the color like of red, white. We understand that way when we make that. The signs for many of our animals, we as Indians, we talk of the buffalo, showing the horns coming out of the buffalo. The deer, we show the antlers of the deer. Make the sign for elk, bigger antlers that goes out. We want to make the sign for the moose, we go out flatter with the longer nose and the tassel underneath his nose. The moose with the long nose, the tassel underneath. The pronghorn or the antelope is them science. The sign of the mountain sheep, the curled horns. The signs of the mountain sheep, the curled horns. We also have the sign of the bear with their little ears. Maybe the cougar. It's kind of got the flat nose and the claws. The birds that flap their wings. When we make the sign of flapping their wings and we go way up high in the sky, we're talking about the eagle or maybe the smaller one that flies way up in the high in the sky the smaller bird, the hawk. Maybe the bird that's got the real round eyes, 
Maybe the bird that get the real round the eyes. The owl. And then we come down to the size. We go down to the smaller birds. To the smaller birds. We talk also of maybe with how the water, the water that we bring in to drink, that there'll be the fishes, the underwater people, or maybe the serpents, maybe the snakes or the serpents that are out there. We might make the sign of the water that we're bringing in to drink, and the animal that slaps his tail, slaps his tail and he swims in that water. The beaver, the beaver. Maybe the one that swims in the water, it's got that little round tail, kind of sticks out. We're talking about the muskrat. It's got a little round tail, the muskrat. When we look at the water that's so big, you look, you cannot see the other side. You see the fish that's as big as a white man's house. We're talking about the whale. the big ocean, the white man's house, fish, big one, is like the whale. We look around and also we make the sign of the one who hops. It's got the little ears that stick up. The one that hops, that has the ears stick up. We're talking about the rabbit. We look to many, many animals that when we're talking about the animals, the four-legged, those that fly, those that crawl, those that swim, they are our relatives or our friends. Animals, very important to our people. The sign for the wear of the cap and the mark like the buffalo, the white man's cow, the horse that are to ride astride is the horse. You got the horse that's got the big long ears. Horse that's got the big long ears. Either a donkey or a mule. We make the sign over here like this is the sign for many tribes as a wolf. Also, many signs of a society, the wolf society. When we make the mark, like leaving tracks on the ground, like pulling the travoy, makes the sign of the dog, the sign of a dog. Or if you want to come up a little bit higher, you're making the sign of the coyote that comes in. And as I signed that was with the little nose, the little bitty scratchers would be for your cat. Sign for mountain goat would be the one that has the horns up over their back and show the color of white. The color of white 
with the horns that come up over the top. The little one that's got the kind of the round tail behind him that comes up into the trees that he talks to you. We're talking about the squirrel, his tail. He runs and hops and then he goes up that tree. Just like we said, sign for tree, one that grows up and flares out. You want to make the sign for pine tree, one that goes up, flares out, and it's jagged. That kind of tree, that pine tree, might be way up there where the rocks or the mountains, they go up, they're jagged ones that go up there. We go down, we take one finger like this and we go down and we start picking on the ground. We're talking about dirt. Mother Earth picking that up, using it. Rock, something that is hard. Rock, something that's real hard. Maybe we talk when it's cold and it's snow, when it's cold, it's snow. It might be water that's just coming down in sheets, water that's coming down in sheets, rain, rain, it's coming down, the wind. The wind that blows, the wind that blows. The sun in the morning, morning time over here. Bring it right above your head, midday. When it goes behind you, goes down, goes behind the mountain, goes down, gets dark. It's time to sleep, to sleep, to lay down, to sleep. When we let that sun come up and we eat the sun, when that comes up and we eat breakfast, when the sun, midday, and we eat, Lunch time, midday time, when that sun way back there, just about to go down, and we eat supper. We eat when that sun is just about ready to go down behind. When we eat, and we eat, then we're full. We're full up here. We're happy. Our belly shakes when we're full. Our belly will shake when we're happy because our sign for happiness. When we eat and there's nothing there, our stomach is empty. We're looking for something to eat. We're eating or we're hungry. We we'll go off and look for something to eat. Over here, it's not full, it's all gone. Okay. When you're hungry, nothing to eat. You may go looking around, you may go hunting see if you can find a deer or maybe a fish, something to eat so that you're full. Over here, your belly, it's happy, you got a good smile. Over here, it's not hungry no more, but you're filled up, made it good.
the sign, as we showed, were three. We, as our Indian people, we have to go up on the mountain, way up there, and look for them ones that's real straight, straight, like an arrow, real straight. We go and we chop and gather many of them, straight ones, put them together all the way around for our teepees. When they come down, we bring them tree people down off the mountain to the camp. We have to work, the sign for work. We have to work hard, we have to work hard. It's hard work, taking them trees, stripping them down so they're slick, real slick, smooth all the way down. They're good to look at when they're in place. Them tree people we have to bring down many times. Ten, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen poles that we have to put up all the way around to put them up there, wrap them with a rope or string of some kind on the top, make a cradle where we can lay them trees. Nice circle. So when it's up there, the doorway will always go to the east in our ways, the Shoshone ways, Indian people. We go to the east with our door. For the cover around that teepee, hard work for the women. So when we go and we're looking, we're hunting for the buffalo. We may have to shoot. We may have to kill. Put them down. 10, 15, 18, maybe 10, 20, 28. Many times for them robes, for them women to take that hair, scrape it off till it's real smooth, like the back of your hand, real smooth. They turn it over, stretch it out, put them stakes all the way around, make it tight. Every direction they pull it tight, get their scrapers, Scrape all of the meat, all of the fat. This is meat as they're cutting it off. Fat or the grease, it's cleaned off in there till it's real nice and good. Then they take it, keep it stretched until it's real good. They go in there and get them brains out of that buffalo they mix it, cook it, till it comes in to be greasy. Then they rub it all over the hides, and then let it set in the sun, let it heat up. Then they start rubbing it, rubbing it, 
rubbing it and rubbing it until it's real dry, both sides. Then they get them robes together and they sew it. Take that sinew out of that back of that buffalo. Then they sew one, two, three, many, maybe 10, 15, 18 robes, one teepee, one family, men, women, children, all come in there. That's where they come in. That's where they sleep. That's where they eat. That's where they talk. Maybe the old men, elders, old women, will tell long stories. But way back, about our people. Our people, how they worked, how they hunted, how they gave. Our people worked real hard to move over here and follow the buffalo, the deer, the elk, the antelope for that meat so they could have lots of food to eat. They'd stay full. Over here, sickness they wouldn't have. They were good. But yet, way back when, when our horses, they had many, many, many horses. It was the grasses on Mother Earth for them horses to eat, stay fat. They were in good shape. So when the women, them women, they put them packs on them. Them women, they were the, understand, the keeper of them robes, of them lodges, them teepees. Men, they didn't work with that. It was the women that did the hard work. Scraping, stretching, sewing for one lodge. Maybe many, many moons they worked. Months they worked hard so they would have a place for our people to sit down, be one family, one group. But the women, the one of the women, they were the ones that spoke of how this teepee was going to be lived in. They also worked real hard when they took it down, rolled it up, folded it back and forth. Juicily, one teepee, one load or one pack for one strong horse. Them robes were heavy. Look, understand, many of them sewed together. That women had to be strong over here, pick them up. They had to come together and work to take and put that lodge. So when they took off, they traveled together. Them teepee poles, 
many times on that horse played on there. Sometimes they put that teepee robes on the travoy on the back of that horse. That horse went, left them tracks. Many times we understood when them tracks were made, they were pulled by horse or by dog. Whatever one of them was out there, that them women, that it was theirs, that was theirs. They were the owners. So it was hard work for them women. Men, we were the ones, us men, we would go out. We would look for buffalo. Kill to bring that meat back. But again, the women, they worked real hard. It was worked until they was tired a lot of times. They quit. Worked and worked to keep the people, the families happy, big smiles, always full. The men, us who walked upright, we would also look, go out, scout around for good grasses, for many, many horses to move from camp over here, move it over here to another camp where there was good water for the animals for the people. Gather together, families, many families, took that travelers, went over here, all come as a group. They had the men who were scouts, they went looking. Scouts and wolf, same kind of sign. They looked for a good place to set up many, many keepies. Always in a circle with head chiefs, the medicine men, and the medicine women. They had their places within that circle where they had their camps. Every time they moved, they set up their camp in that same place in that circle. Maybe the big chief, the one who looks over the people, maybe his teepee might be way over here in the backside. Depending on his status, whether he was a little bit higher, maybe if he was a war chief, a chief that went to war. Maybe his chief, his teepee over here in his clan. Maybe they camped over here, right there, right there, right there, as a group. Maybe another clan of people, a group of our people. Maybe their caps be over here. Maybe there be five, maybe 10. You know, depending, they camped over here, came in there in status, however they stood within the tribe, within the people. Chief, he made that big talk, medicine talk, when we was to pick up, go again. Because his men would come back and tell him, the grass is gone, it's real short. The horses, the flesh is coming off them. They're not fat, not healthy anymore. We need to move on. Big chief would say, wait. Let me sleep. 
Let me have the sleep or a vision while I'm sleeping. Then, the maker of medicine above, the creator, would tell him, now, you and your people must go. Go this way or go that way. He would understand them visions or them dreams when he was sleeping, what he's seen, the unforeseen. You make the sign for Father with your hands over on your right side. Just bring it out, and that makes the sign of your Father. And if you want to, you can put man like this and do that for Father. That is the sign. For Mother, you go to the left side, and you do that. To clarify it, you can go ahead and make the long hair, but make the sign right over your Bring it out with your hands. If you want to talk about your grandfather, you make the sign for father, and then for an elder or a person who walks with a cane. Same way with grandmother, the one who walks with her cane. Brothers or siblings, you put your two fingers in your mouth, like nursing, you go like this, and that is either going to be your brother, the male, or your sister. The sign for brother, the sign for sister. As you want to go and maybe make the sign for your father's brother, that would be the sign for your uncle. If you wanted to make the sign for your auntie, you would go this way and you'd make the sign either on your father's side or on your mother's side. Your auntie on your mother's side would be this way. Your uncle on your mother's side would not have the long hair unless you used the braids, but make the sign of man or the one who walks upright. The man who walks upright. Woman. Talk about a little girl, long hair, go down, judge about where their age groups are. You're talking about a younger one, a girl that grows up into a teenager, or to be an adult as a woman. Okay, and you make the sign like this for man or male. Maybe it's a boy, a little bit older a little bit older as a man. We look to these signs on our hands for our people or our relatives in my father's family into my mother's family. The sign for to set down, you take your hand and put it like you're going to set. Make the sign to be able to set down. If you want to get up, you're getting up. You're not making the sign for man. You're getting up after you set down. You get up. If you get up, you may want to walk. Put in one front, a foot in front of each other is when you walk. If you want to run, make the sign fast. You're gone. You run real fast, and you're gone. When we make the sign 
for a star, you put your hand together and make a small circle, but you also move your fingers like it's moving. That is the star. And when you want to make the sign for the moon, you have to say it's dark. You make the sign for darkness. If you have to clarify it, put your hand in front of it where the sun was up here and it goes down and then it makes dark. Then it's that moon that is some more of our celestial people. When that sun is over on the eastern horizon, just as it's getting ready to come up, it's just breaking the horizon, we do the sign for star. It's just barely coming up and the sign for star. We're talking about the morning star as the sun is just barely coming up before and that morning star. When they go back over to the west and the sun is getting ready to go down, then that star comes out. When the sun is just getting ready to go down, just before it gets dark, that star is the sign for our evening star. The star that is up in the sky and it falls out is a shooting star. You got the star up in the sky and it shoots down. That is the shooting star. Where we look up there and we see the star and there's many, many, many of them just fall in every direction. They're coming this way. They're going this way. There are stars that are falling. Meteors that are coming this way and coming this way. Or they may all be going the same way, but there are stars that are falling like the shooting stars. When we look at, remember when we talked about the sun coming up, it comes up in the east, goes down in the west. There's darkness, darkness of night. The sign for tree, as it comes high, and them are all the branches and the leaves that are on that tree, make the shape of a leaf that it goes up. We do it small like this. This is the sign for a flower. You may want to make the sign that it smells good. The flower that smells good. The tree may have many, many berries or fruit that you pick. You just go through the motions of picking berries that are coming off in that tree. You're picking berries. In Mother Earth, the dirt, as we know the sign for dirt, in Mother Earth, we take little bitty seeds, put them here, put them here. They go down. They make roots. They come up through the ground. Maybe it'll be something with the, with the color of yellow and do the shape of a carrot the shape of a carrot. Maybe the little bitty seed that we put in the ground and it goes down there, then it comes up. Then we must dig, dig and dig. And then we come up with many, many potatoes, round ones that come out of Mother Earth. We have to dig, dig after that plant comes in there. It's down there underneath the ground. It's a potato. Also, 
with the Indian foods. We call the camas. Might be round at the top, grows down in the ground, long ways. We have to dig around it, pull them up. They're big. Camas. Also, m many times when we have them flowers, we also have little ones that are flying around come in. They sit on that flower. They eat. They pick up stuff. They take it back to their nests or their homes. Them are the little bitty bees that's really flying here, there, everywhere. They go, they take that, what they pick up, but take it back into their hives. And they work, 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 work. And they make a, where you tuck, touch your tongue, they're really sweet. That will be honey that them little ones work real hard on, take it back to their hives and work with it to make it like honey. It's good, sweet. A tree may have round apples that we pick and go and eat them. They're red in color. They're a fruit. It's on the tree we pick, we go, pull her down. Also, trees that grow that may have many, many other ones that the color may be orange. The color will be orange, will be oranges. Also, the bushes, they may have little, small berries that we pick. The bushes have many, many berries that we pick that goes this way. We, when we talk of seasons, we look around and we look at the trees and the leaf, the tree and the leaf. If that leaf is the color of the green and it's just small, the leaf. That is springtime. As that tree comes and the leaves get bigger, they turn real pretty green. Summertime. Summertime, when it's starting to get hot, the sun is going to be up here. It's going to get hot. That trees are going to have full leaves. As it goes on and moves on, that leaf may turn to the color of orange. Maybe that leaf on that tree will take and it'll fall down on Mother Earth. That leaf will be yellow. It will be losing its life and it'll fall down in the wind. When that tree, there is no more leaves, just branches that go out and go out and go out on that tree. It's when that sun goes and it's starting to get cold, cold. We see that tree, branches over here and over here. The leaves are all gone. 
the leaves are all gone. Life has what with it. Smaller four-legged animals that walk around. One is the small animal that is the color of black, but the color of white goes down over its back. Two white stripes. The smell, it's no good. When he smells, it's no good. That's your skunk that runs around stinking up everything, making everything smell bad. One animal that when he walks, he walks real, real slow. When he can see, not very far, just a little ways. Over here, he's got lots and lots of hair that stands up all over. On his tail, he has deals like needles. Needles that come out, they'll go into your hand. Ow! They'll go into your hand. Quills, just like a needle, a quill. The porcupine, the little hairy feller, has got the tail flip up that has some quills that will come out sharp like the needle. We look at also too, little four-legged one, little guy. He runs around in the trees where there's many, many trees. He talks a lot. He talks a lot. He's a good little animal. He has stripes on his back, also dots on him. The chipmunk, the chatterbox, he talks a lot. Little marks, but he runs around here, there, everywhere. He's coming from to us as he comes to see us. We are talk of our otter. He's a long animal that in the water, he swims, he looks around for the fish to eat. But many, many times, our people use it as wraps on their braids to make it really look good, fluffy, soft. Over here, the otters come down that is given to us by that four-legged one that swims in the water and looks for the fishes. The sign for shoot would be to pull a bow and arrow and let it go. Pull it back, let it go. Make the sign with your fingers. Once you let it go, that it'll go out. Follow the projectile of that arrow, whether it might be the white man's gun, the white man's gun, then it goes out. Also, maybe they might work to be able to get fire, put it on that arrow, and then that fire is on that arrow. They'll bring it on, let that projector go way over to build a fire over there where they were shooting at. Pull her way back, there's fire on it, on that arrow. Pull her back, let her go over the top, wherever it needs to be. When the white man came, 
they brought a black kind of kind of like salt kind of like pepper they put it in this container like that they maybe would at that time when they had the matches they would use a match light it let it go boom boom would be a bomb or an explosion many times Two that later on in time, as time went by, them same kind would be dropped from way up in the air, come down, they would explode. Come down, make big explosion. Come down, big explosion. Maybe that smoke would come up way high in the sky, that smoke would come way up high in the sky, make a big cloud way up there. To drive, we go way back when they used the reins onto a wagon that had horses over on this side, on that side. Horses over here, horses on this side. That was to drive. Then as time goes on, the white man brought the sign or to drive or the car, modern day car, modern day way to drive. Going back always, drive this way. Modern day sign to drive. When we come and we drive like this, we have a vehicle, it's a big one. Them little kids go in there. They go in there and they sit on this side over here and here. Sit here, sit here. The man who drives will take many, many of them little ones take them over to a house where they can go in. They can go ahead and have a book and read. They can write. They can go in that schoolhouse, the book where they read and write in that house. They go, but they come on that big bus with them children on this side, children on this side, maybe two, 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 rows and rows and rows, they will come to that place where it's a schoolhouse. To watch as it comes and it flies, but it's got a motor up in front, goes around and around, it's got wings goes this way and it flies, but it's got motor in the front. The sign for airplane, airplane has a man who sits up there in that airplane and he drives it or he flies it. He sits up there, goes this way, goes a long ways when they're flying. Go from here to there, way over there, way over there. To drive a big vehicle that them little ones can walk in and get on and sit down. Over here, over here, over here, maybe rows back, they will go in that vehicle, down that road, to that house where they can go in and they can read and they can write. That will be a big school bus, school bus for them kids, them little ones. 
to go and go. To watch the movement of the wings as it flies, but it's got a motor up in front, the sign for airplane that flies. It's got the motor up in the front. There's a man who sits up there. He drives that airplane. The sign for that driver or the pilot, sign for the airplane that's flying with the motor up in front. A teepee for our Indian people to go in, to lay down and sleep, to eat. A sign for teepee, the Indian teepee. The sign we make for our white man's house. The sign we make for our white man's house. A house of the white man might go way up in the sky. That house goes up forever. We're talking about a skyscraper, a house that's real tall, goes way up there. We got a house that them little ones go in to read, to write that house that they go into, to read and to write. Schoolhouse. A house where people, they come when they're sick. A house where our people come to when they're sick. Hospital. Sign for a hospital. A house where our people, they come to when they're sick. The people that work the medicine, maybe the women, when a person is sick, be a medicine woman, or maybe she might be a white woman working that medicine when a person's sick, a nurse. Maybe a man who works that medicine when a person is sick would be a doctor, a man who would work that medicine when the people are sick would be a doctor. Maybe when we go in that house where they read and write, it might be a woman or it might be a man that talks to them. That would be your teacher, teacher in that schoolhouse where they have that book that opens up or they can write a woman or a man that is a teacher that talks to them. A house we go into to work medicine or send word to the Creator above. Maybe it'll have a cross of the Christian way. It might be a church, a church where we go into to work that medicine or to pray to the Creator might have a cross up on top, a church. Maybe a house where we go ahead and buy or trade, give money to go in, to sleep. Might be a house that we might buy or trade or give money to go in, to sleep. Hotel, motel. Maybe the white man soldier that has the stripes. 
may have where they got the trees. They stand them up next to each other all the way around. All four standing up just like my fingers over here, over here, over here, over here. Make that mark of the stripes of the white man putting these up over here like this. They may have a gate that will open up where you can go in. And poles on that gate will open up where you can go in. That's that white man soldier's fort. Over here and over here with that opening of that gate.